Jamie here talking to you. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new, welcome. I hope to any subscription today. So uh, this is just a follow on from the last video, the uh, fish that need a new home. Uh, you probably hear there's a lot of running water in the background, that's because I am re-topping up the, uh, the vat. But right now, let's have a look at the few fish that are for sale. So uh, without further ado, I'll spin you around and one by one, as I'm putting them into the blue vat, I will get you a little shot of them in the measuring bowl uh, so you can see what we've got. Catching a bizzle. Well, this is the first one. This is uh, the Akamatsuba. Lovely looking fish. Um, what can I tell you about it? It's uh, English bred from Japanese fish. This one. Uh, let's see if we can get a little measurement on him. Is it feisty one? Fish it up. Come on, most of these are not very big. All the big ones have unfortunately been sold or moved into the main pond already. He is 16 cm. So he's only little. None of these are expensive. So uh, if you do want any of these, give me a shout. But yeah, Akamatsuba. Um, absolutely thin and gill perfect. Um, lovely looking fish. With, uh, if you want him, let me know. I think this one, I'm not 100% certain, but I think this one's a Karashi Goy. Um, if not, it's a very, very light Ogon. <laughs> but no, I'm pretty sure it's a Karashi Goy, but not 100% certain. Um, again, not a very big fish, but fin and gill perfect. So we can get a little measure on you, little buddy. Right, we'll use two hands then. He is almost 15. I'm gonna gonna say 15. He's uh, 14 and 10 eighths, <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, he's a lovely little fish. Again, as I said in the last video. All these fish are parasite free now, um, very healthy. So yeah, again, not very expensive fish guys. If anybody wants one, give me a shout. But yeah, fish number two, little Karashi guy. All right guys, this is one of the slightly bigger ones I've got for sale. Probably is the biggest one I've got left uh, for sale, looking at what's left in there. Um, again, as you probably all know, I'm no fish expert. But uh, I would guess a, a Kimatsuba. Um, not too sure, but slightly metallic uh, tinge to him. Um, could be an Ogon, I suppose. But yeah, absolutely. This this fish has a fantastic body. His scalation pattern is absolutely brilliant as well. And look at this, guys. Come here, buddy. Lovely body shape, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, this one is pushing 21, 2, 3. 23. Yeah, so again, not massive, guys. It's got a huge mouth on this one, he's going to be a pretty big fish. Um, great shoulders, great backbone. Powerful fish. His fins, though, they, I, I almost kept this one myself. His fins are perfectly symmetrical with the yellow, obviously at the first part of the fin, and then uh, the white tips, the same with the tail. The tail's symmetrical all the way through, and the same with his dorsal fin as well, white tip along the along the top. So lovely, lovely fish. Um, again, if you want him, give me a shout, guys. 23 cm, let me know. Right, guys, something a little bit different. These are my three tench. Well, I say mine. I'm going to uh, I'm going to move these guys on. Um, I've had them now for a couple of years. Um, these two, as you can see, are growing very, very well, and um, they do grow a lot uh, slower than koi. Whereas the little grey one down there um, hasn't grown much at all, to be honest. Um, he's probably grown an inch in the two years. Uh, whereas the other two, well, they all, all three of them were the same size. So I moved the golden ones on. Uh, last year because they weren't growing at all but they are growing 
but slowly but surely but then I've never really bought specific tench feed so maybe that's the reason why but they're lovely tench you've got this one that's a lovely green tench look absolutely stunning and this one's more of a grey although they're all green tench really but I suppose as they get bigger they'll probably green up they're such slippery slimy buggers but yeah they're all again fit and healthy fish and then a the little tiny one this guy's got some massive fins there whether he'll ever grow and become a massive tench I don't know but yeah, lovely little again sort of grey tench but uh, they are all green there two of them have absolutely lovely deep red eyes I think this one's uh, one of them but yeah lovely deep red eyes love it um, but yeah I've decided that I am going to move these on um, only a recent decision but uh, yeah if anybody wants free little tench again not not expensive guys you can take the free um, or just one or two whatever you want but if you want them let me know well, this one's going to be an absolute bruiser when he's older. He has got one hell of a backbone. Um, strong head too. Big mouth. Um, but yeah, no idea what this one is. Um, again, somebody might be able to let me know. It's an absolutely cracking fish. A lovely sort of silvery bronze colour. Oh, I've got water in my eye. Cheers, buddy. But yeah, lovely, lovely fish. And we've got a little measurement on this one. He's a feisty bugger, isn't he? Uh, he is 16 cm. Yeah, fat little git. One of the first up for food, this one. But yeah, that's that one. Again, if anybody wants him, let me know. 16 cm. Hmm. This one is one of the Orchibas really nice or cheaper this one um i forgot to mention uh, for the last few as well so far all the ones that have come out so far are english bred from japanese uh, parents this or cheaper though have a look at this guys he looks completely gray for them again they're all, they're all so feisty these fish <laughs> i thought he was a calm one come on are you going to show everyone your lovely pattern Look at his pattern guys coming through. I don't know if you can see that there. But yeah, his brown's now starting to come through. Gonna be a cracking little fish. Got some brown hair on his gills. Uh, both sides as well, I think. He's got a matching brown spot on his gills. No, no, doesn't have one on that side. It's, uh, he's got a fair bit of pattern. Come on. We've got a fair bit of pattern coming down both sides. I just hope that's coming out on uh, on camera. So you've got that side and that side. Lovely. Uh, get a quick measure on him. This one is mm, almost 19. Oh, if, no, he's 19. Yeah, straighten out his tail. He's 19. So 19 cm that one. Yeah, absolutely cracking fish that one. None of these, as I say, are expensive guys. Um, so if you see any you like and you want them, give me a shout. Now this one, guys, is going to be something special. Um, I really don't know what he is. Um, he has a pure metallic head. Um, otherwise, I'd have said a very poor quality uh, kahaku. But the Benny on him, um, as you can probably tell, he's got a uh, Benny all over his uh, front lip, top lip, and uh, he's got Benny uh, now coming down his back. But the Benny itself has actually only been there, um, or started to come through in the last couple of months. So, uh, yeah, not too sure what he's going to be, whether it's Kajaku or what. Unfortunately, we did, uh, in the moving about today, we have uh, split his fin ever so slightly, but I'm pretty sure that'll heal back up probably before you even uh, come to collect it hopefully but uh, yeah lovely looking fish and um, he will be something special that's for sure but we'll see if we can get a closer look and a bit of a measure on him ok 
considering they've had a stressful day today, they're very, very lively. Apologies if my arm keeps getting in the way of the shot. Yeah, look, metallic head. Absolutely lovely fish. Right, let's see if we can get a measure on him and then get him back into the main of that. He is 19. 19 cm. A few ginrin scales down his back as well. Um, but yeah, he's going to be a cracking little fish this one. Um, uh, another English bred uh, fish. There are a couple of Japanese ones uh, in the pond, which is why I keep saying which ones are English. But yeah, this one's uh, an English fish from Japanese parents. So let's move on to the next one. And this one was bought from uh, a local Peterborough Koi Club uh, person. And again, I believe, I'm not, not too sure whether they were Japanese imports because he, he was running a small business um, and had to close it down. But uh, yeah, I'm not too sure if this one is Japanese or English bred, um, but it's certainly not Israeli or anything like that. But uh, I bought this one with the intentions of keeping it myself, but unfortunately most of his Benny um, has dropped off. It is Kahaku, and um, as you can see, he's got a lovely Benny spot on his back, one on his head, and one on his cheek. Bit of an oddball blessing. But uh, yeah, it's actually getting stronger again now. So whether all his pattern will come back or not, I'm not too sure. And if it does, I'll be very annoyed. Um, because I've decided to move him on for now because I've got a few kahakus in the main pond now. But, yeah, you can see there that lovely little Benny spot on his cheek and one on the top of his head. And he's not very big. He is 13, nearly 14. Pretty close to 14. They call him 14. Just short of by a couple of mil if that. But yeah, 14 pretty much. So again, lovely little kahaku. If you're interested, drop me a line, guys. Got another Orchiba uh, here. Um, I have just noticed uh, this one does have, I didn't see that earlier, but yeah, it does have an ever so slight kink in it in the back of its tail again. So this is another one that just needs a good home. Uh, not for sale, he just needs a, a loving family and a loving pond to take him. Uh, I'm not, not going to charge anyone for a fish with a slight defect, but I don't know if you can tell, he's got a, ever so, and I mean it's a slight kink, you probably won't even notice it in a pond, but yeah, lovely dark Orchiba, um, not got an awful lot of pattern, um, it could even be a Chagoy to be honest, um, dark, dark Chag, I don't know, might even turn into a Saraboy, who knows, but yeah, he's sort of a, a grey brown. Uh, with a silver belly. Yeah, lovely fish other than that. One Jinrin scale above his gill plate there and one on his back there. But uh, yeah, lovely fish. Again, this one's an English uh, bred from Japanese parent fish. So if you're interested in giving this fella a good home for free, let me know. Yeah, I thought I'd put all these ones in together. Um, like the big one that we saw at the beginning of the video, not 100% sure what they are, whether they're uh, Kimatsubas or just Ogons. Um, but yeah, all very nice fish. The uh, only slight defect, which is not a defect on the fish, but this one does have a very small shimmy on the back of its tail there, the bigger one. Um, but yeah, all nice, healthy fish. Not massive. Uh, I think the biggest one's about 15. Uh, CM and obviously they're going down from there but uh, yeah as I've said before um, none of these are expensive guys so if you're interested in any drop me a line but uh, we get we're getting through them and we're getting uh, a bit closer to the few special ones that I've got to show you so uh, stick around and uh, you'll see what's uh, what's coming next all right this one, I'm not going to lie, I'm not 100% sure whether it's going to stay like it is currently um, or whether it's going to get its sumi back. Because uh, it was a month or two ago, uh, a shiro. Uh, it's now a white fish with some jinrin scales down its dorsal fin. Quite a few as well, it's kind of got like a, a jinrin dorsal zipper. The rest of it is, is standard. 
but uh, yeah, I don't know if it's coming out on camera. These lovely German scales, but he's an okay size. He's over 20, just. Let's have a look. He is 21. Yeah, so just just over 20, but yeah, he's got German scales all down his dorsal. Um, obviously a little bit pink at the minute because uh, they're all a bit stressed out. But you can just see a tiny bit of underlying sumi here um, that used to be there and probably another bit just ever yeah, so slightly there. But, uh, whether it will come back or whether he'll stay white, I don't know. But he was a shiro, he's now a white one. So, uh, yeah, you're cool, but again, lovely fish, English bred from Japanese parents, not very expensive. Let me know, guys. Similar story to the last one. Um, he did have a, a fair bit of sumi on him. Um, now he's white. So whether the sumi will come back or not, I mean, everyone knows shiros can lose their sumi and it comes back. But whether it will or not, obviously I can't guarantee that. So he was a shiro. He's now a white fish. Again, around 20 centimetres. Says around 20, he's probably nowhere near. No, that was a bad guess. He is 17. Yeah, 17. So, uh, yeah, if anyone's interested, again, very cheap, not very expensive. Um, but yeah, this is the last of the plain ones, and then uh, we start getting to the special ones. So, uh, using the little blue net today because it speeds things up rather than a sock for tiny fish so I'll get this one into the main vat and we'll snap back to you all in a bizzle and here we have the only shower I have for sale um, lovely little shower though again English bred from Japanese parents this one uh, his Benny's starting to deepen out now as well um, when, I, when he first arrived with me as a, a very young fry he was just white and black uh, but his Benny's coming through more and more so uh, I doubt he'll get much more Benny, but it will just thicken up and go darker as he as he gets older. But his fins, absolutely love. They're almost symmetrical, his two peck fins. Almost. But uh, yeah, cracking little fish. And uh, let's see if we can get a little measurement on this one. Oh, Mr. Shower. Oh, not finished with you yet. Come on. He is also 17 cm. So yeah, get this one into the neck, into the main vat, and then we'll start seeing the the other ones. Right, this one, although being small, I think is going to be something quite special. Not too sure what he is. Um, in his younger days, I would have 100% said Akamatsuba, um, but as he's growing, he is developing white, which he never had. He was always a pale yellowy orange. Let's uh, can get a side shot of him if you'll play ball. Come here, little buddy. Should have got a mini fry pan in it, really. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can, can quite see that there, but he's fully white, I believe, underneath. Yep. Fully white underneath, look. And yeah, no, he's still kind of got the Akamatsuba spine, but uh, he's got white all down both sides of his face, white lips, beautiful fins. He's got the Benny in the tips of the in the tips of the pecs, and then white all the way all the way down to the end. And same with his tail. And really, really nice little fish, this one. And so I can't tell you what he is. But he's going to be interesting, very interesting. One to watch. He's not very big, he is only 13. 13 cm. Hasn't grown very well this year. So all, all the big ones are either in my main pond now or been sold already. But uh, yeah, so 13 cm. Can't tell you what he is. English bred from Japanese parents. Lovely, lovely little fish. And there, guys, you can see the platinum. Uh, that isn't a split in his fins. It's uh, just a bit, bit colourless there. I think it may have split in the past and has now healed up and waiting to, to colour back up. But 
absolutely lovely fish. Uh, he does have a very slight curl to the edge of his gills, but they're not um, not terrible by any means. But absolutely scalation pattern and body shape. Oh, it's a nice fish. When I when I had them all in the vat, the missus said this was one of her favourites. So uh, yeah, this is going to give someone a lovely fish to their ponds. Come here, buddy. Now you're facing the wrong way. Some coins are just really good at swimming backwards. He is 20 cm. So again, not one of the biggest, but lovely platinum to grace anybody's pond. Again, English bred, Japanese parents, that one. Let me know if you're interested. And here we have another one of the Shiro's. Uh, this one though hasn't lost his sumi. It's actually getting thicker and thicker. Um, you can see one one spot on the back of his tail there has come through um, and I mean that, that spot is ink black so uh, I think this one's going to be a real nice fish you can see it all down his uh, down his spine what's waiting to come through there's a few patches down his sides as well waiting to come through he's very another very powerful fish this one try from this side see if we can get a measure on him come back round here you Again, apologies if my arm keeps getting in shot. He is just shy, and I mean just shy of 20 centimetres. Uh, he's got quite a bit of sumi coming there, and quite a bit of sumi coming the same on that side. A few dots along there, I don't know if you can quite make that out on camera. But yeah, absolutely lovely fish. Great body shape on that one, real great. And the scale pattern is really nice as well, very symmetrical. Gonna be a bruiser that one. Yeah, let me know guys. Nice little Shiro. And here guys is oh an absolute stunning fish. Now there are a couple of these that I've kept back for myself. Um but yeah. Pretty sure it's a magoi. Yeah. It's an absolute cracking fish. I'll tell you what, these guys are the biggest pain in the backside to catch in the world because they, in, the, in a black pond, they are impossible to see. And not only that, they've been so feisty and fast. They really have, but this guy is absolutely gorgeous. He, he, he was almost one of my keepers, that's for sure. But, uh, the one that I've kept like this is a uh, Jinrin version of this one for myself. Oh. All right, guys, absolutely perfect. That's not his scale; that's somebody else's scale. And he's not missing a single one. Right, let's get a measurement on him. Come here, buddy. He is 15, 16, 17, 18 and a half. 18 and a half, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a maggot. If not, someone can correct me. But jet black on the top with a silver belly. Absolutely stunning fish. Perfect body shape, perfect fins. He's just perfect. He really, he really was nearly one of the ones that I uh, kept. It's the only reason I kept the other one instead of this one is because the other one's genuine. But, uh, there's still a few more to come, and uh, I've got, as I said, I've got a couple of special ones. Uh, that, again, I almost didn't put in this batch, but uh, you'll see in a bit. There we go, not 100% sure again what this one is, I'm not going to lie. Um, it's kind of got a metallic -y tinge to it, um, so whether it's uh, a bit of a mixed bread, I don't know. But either way, it's going to be a nice fish. It's got a lovely Benny pattern coming through. Um, the white in it is still staying strong as well. And it's got some kind of Matsuba sort of pattern, I suppose, to it. 
Might be a Matsuba cross with a Kahaku, I don't know. Lovely pattern. Not not very big fish again. This is one of the smaller ones. Let's see if we can get a little measurement on him. He is 14. Yeah, 14 cm. Yeah. Lovely little fish. Really nice fins again on that one. You just see the Benny in the first part of the fin and a nice white silvery fin all the way to the tips very very nice another English bred one um, there's only one one Japanese one actually in here now I've got to the end so the rest of uh, either already been sold or moved on but tell you what we'll get the Japanese one out next Here he is, the only Japanese one left in the bowl. Um, Kahaku, one and a bit step. He has got a bit of Benny uh, just beside his tail there. So uh, yeah, it's generally a one step with a, a bit of fluctuating Benny there in the tail. I suppose you could call it a two step, but he is a real nice Kahaku though. Uh, his body shape, again, perfect. Real nice scalation pattern. Benny's getting deeper and deeper, and it's a real nice pattern. It'll be a, be a nice one. I know I've got a window, but he will be a nice one to see um, through a window. Inside pattern, if you'll let me show you. He's beautiful on both sides. Lovely bit of Benny there coming under his cheek. Another feisty fish. This one's slightly bigger than the last few we've had a look at. Let's have a look. Come on, buddy. He is 20... 22. Yeah, lovely, lovely Kahaku. Again, none of these are expensive, guys. E even this one. I know it's Japanese, but uh, it didn't cost me an awful lot because I bought it at, like... Two inches I think so uh, yeah if you're interested guys give me a shout and uh, give them a good own and there we go guys little tiny one look very fast little tiny one but I'm pretty sure this is a uh, Orchiba not too sure but it's very sort of grey brown tinge to it with a few black spots and unusual hasn't grown very much but as you can see very fit very healthy fish almost looks like a common carp yeah it's got a bit of sumi uh, in its peck fins and the odd speck of sumi uh, down it. Speaking of sumi, the next fish I'm going to get out into this bowl, Vince, you're going to love it because they're not very common. Yeah, not too, not 100%, but I'm pretty sure he's an Ochiba. Um, if not, he could possibly be a dark Chagoy. Um, but yeah, I'm still saving the best one till last, um, yeah, the best few till last, but uh, I'll get out. The one Vince might like next. And there he is, guys, my little char at Surrey. Yep, it's a Chagoy at Surrey. Lovely little fish, this one. Great body shape. Not very common, the old char at Surrey. I know Vince has got a lovely one in his pond. But uh, I assume he's getting thicker and thicker coming through. He's got a couple of spots down that side, here, here, and here. And then just one or two, uh, one, one spot I think down near his tail on that side, yeah. You can see that there guys? I hope that's coming out on camera because this really is a nice fish. But yeah, he's got three, three sumi spots on that side and then just two, was it, no, just the one on that side down near his tail. Come on buddy. 
just there if that's coming out on camera and that's getting bigger and thicker as well but yeah absolutely cracking chag really. lovely dark chocolate chag one Jimin scale bless his heart on the back a little bit of sumi in his uh, pec fins as well um, which just goes to show that he is a char at Suri and not just a, a char with uh, black spots basically uh, shimmies that's the word yeah, they're not shimmies because he's got proper sumi um, lines down his uh, down his pec fins so lovely char at Suri not very common again another one I almost kept but I've got currently got three chags in the main pond at the minute. Um, might move some of them on next year, but uh, yeah, for now there's no more room in the main pond. So because uh, I've got another three or four that I'm growing on ready for next year to go in the main pond. So I'm afraid this one needs a new home. Again, not very expensive, guys, but uh, give us a shout. Oh, we didn't get a measurement, did we? Let's have a quick look. Come here, baby. The little chart, so he is just over 15 cm. I'm not going to say 16 on that, I think it's about 15 and a half. But yeah, give me a shout, guys, and let me know. Another feisty little kahaku, this one. He's uh, a fast one to catch, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, love this one. Uh, lovely white nose it's got it, it, the white on it I can never remember what the white is called but the white on it is really white on this one and the Benny is just see what I mean it's a fast little one the Benny on it is just getting thicker and thicker lovely patterns down the sides uh, he doesn't want to play ball for the camera plus it's starting to spit the rain again just what we want yeah, lovely little kahaku, not very big, whether you're letting me get a measurement on him, I don't know. Let me have a go. There's only a little one. Come here. He is 15, just. Yeah. So again, if anyone's interested, let me know but just love his face on this both eyes are white no benny in the eyes and lovely white nose and a lovely one step kahaku real nice fish that one be sorry to see that one go actually got a whiter face than any of my kahakus but never mind lovely little fish now this one, I think I've mentioned it in a few videos uh, a while ago now. Absolutely love this. It's a uh, Chagoy, Jinrin Chagoy as well. Lovely body, lovely fins. But it has a really unusual um, scalation pattern. Um, it's certainly not symmetrical, that's for sure. It's symmetrical down his spine. But uh, let me see if I can get you guys a shot on this. This is absolutely brilliant. Now, this fish has never had any damage, any ulcers, or any anything. This is how it grew from fry. And check this out, if I can get you a, a good shot of it. I call it the bullet hole, bullet hole fish. Because on the other side of them, if you'll turn around and play ball, come on, buddy. Show everybody your fantastic pattern. Look at that. It's almost like it's got been stabbed or had an ulcer in the past or something like a bullet hole but the scales over that weird scalation pattern are all silver for some strange reason and you can see it better while it's in the silverness while it's under the water so it'll look rather unusual going past a window oh, look at that. absolutely brilliant let's see if we can get a size on him 16 cm yeah gin rin chag anyone's been after an unusual gin rin chag this one could be for you i just i don't know if he doesn't sell he'll probably end up in my pond as well because that's my bullet old chag yeah. if anybody asks he was shot right let's get is it the last one? Oh yes 
Oh yes, you're gonna like this one. Right, last one. Another one of the blackfish. But this one has got quite a bit of white coming through. Um, very unusual fish. Um, I think Vince had a few of these uh, earlier on this year for sale. Obviously his were a lot bigger than these. So I've been a bit overcrowded with fish this year. Yeah, this one is 17 cm. Let's see if we can get you a bit of a better shot. But yeah, look at his face, look. Lovely little white bits on his face. Again, black back with some white coming through. And lovely silver belly. Yeah. Not sure if it's uh, a magoi or or what. Yeah. Either way, it's a nice fish. I hope the uh, the pattern's coming through on the camera. I know there's a, a fair bit of glare now that it's gone weirdly overcast lid, but it is an absolutely cracking little fish. Almost a white tip to its dorsal, well it has white tip to its dorsal fins, it's got white bits in all of its fins. Absolutely lovely fish. Uh, again, not not expensive, guys. I know some of these are really nice, but uh, none of them are expensive. They need new homes. Um, so if you're interested in any of the fish you've seen today, um, my email is in the uh, video description and on the channel description. Uh, drop me an email, leave me a comment on the video. Let me know what your favorite one is so we can then arrange uh, if you want one to come and uh, come and collect it so yeah so on that note that's uh, that's all the fish that I have left for sale this year that's a big step down from the 90 plus that I did have a few weeks back but uh, yeah this this video is actually going out before um, other videos I've got in the queue because the fish need moving on really yeah we can't see the pond today because we haven't seen the other videos yet but uh, yeah so without further ado i'm going to end the video here if you want any of these fish let me know give me an airplanes again and uh, we will catch you all on the next one <laughs>